All right, real quick video here just to kind of alert people to what's going on with the precious metals market. Um, gold is setting new records and every pretty much every day now. Um, silver is going up very quickly. Uh, that's one way to look at it. The other way to look at it is actually the dollar is crashing um, here in America. And there's a reason for that. And I believe it's part of World War III. And that agenda is there for the BRICS countries to buy huge amounts of precious metals, which will uh, destroy the American dollar. Because the dollar has been used as a weapon in other countries to mess with their economies. And so now they're going to get us back. Uh, so we have open warfare here. Um, you can see down here, this is SD Bullion's channel on YouTube. One of the good precious metal dealers that I've, I've dealt with over the years. Um, and it says uh, about how the India basically bought 70.7 .7 million silver ounces in February of this year. That's a lot of silver. And here is, uh, just type in Chinese buying gold. I'm not going to show the whole thing here, but 800,000 Chinese rushed to buy gold in malls at New Year with worsening political economic environment. But there's all these people are out there buying gold. Um, they're panicking. And it's a very simple issue of supply and demand. There's not a whole lot of uh, gold and silver in the world. There's a limited amount, in other words. Not enough for everybody to own. And so as demand goes up, supply comes down, prices naturally go up. So when you see this kind of hysteria, people buying whatever they can in terms of gold or silver, and again, you can get gold pretty cheap if you get like a one-tenth ounce you know, coin or something like that that's not that expensive, a couple hundred dollars. Um, gold coin, one ounce coin, yeah, it's going to cost you, I don't even know what right now, maybe 2500 or something, I don't know. But the whole point is, and silver you can get for 30 or $40 um, for a one ounce coin, so it's not that much money. And a lot of people have been led to believe that you just put your money in the bank, it's safe there and whatever else. Well, history shows that it's a lot more dangerous to have your money in the bank than it is to have it on your own in gold and silver, which the Bible talks about gold and silver. It's the biblical form of currency. But the whole point is here, people are looking at this and they're saying, wow, look at the, the prices are just going up and up all the time. Well, that's one way to look at it. But it's also an indication that the prices are of the dollars coming down. The dollar's worth less. It takes more dollars now to buy real money like this. So just wanted to put this video out here very quickly. Um, be very careful about having all of your money in the bank, right? Um, you can do whatever you want to do, all right? I'm a preacher, whatever else. I'm not an economics expert or whatever, but the whole point is, see, it just went up again. If you saw that the numbers just changed, 29.74. I mean, we're 26 cents away from $30. And there were, you know, experts in there saying, I think that it could change. And, you know, we might be able to see $30 silver this year or something. We could see it by the end of the day here. And it's not about this economic thing or that economic thing. Those, that's there. But it's mostly about BRICS countries trying to destroy the dollar. There it went down just a little bit, 29.70. It's just, it's updating all the time. But, you know, 24, 26, 12, it's crazy. Platinum is going up as well. So just crazy. I keep saying going up because it is going up. But the dollar's coming down. The dollar's losing value. So um, uh, if, if you listen to me in the past and, and got some silver and gold, then you're doing better than when you first bought it right now. Um, if, however, you... You're just sitting on a bunch of useless, you know, paper currency in the bank. Well, it's being eroded. Again, understand, this stuff is going up. The dollar is coming down. And the BRICS nations, uh, the best way to destroy America is just to um, go after the money. Destroy the dollar and America will collapse and the people will kill each other here in America. So I just wanted to make a real quick video on that. Um, just crazy. Crazy time to live in. I have a bunch of sermons I'm going to be doing. I have a whole bunch of different study notes here that I've been working on. I'm going to be recording those today. So look for some good studies coming out. And that will be it. Thank you for watching.